And now, let's learn how to get a professional paint job. Chris Nielsen from Chris Nielsen Painting is here. How are you, my friend? Good, good, good morning. morning. I want to say Good's before here. we start here, guys, Greg, I know why you wanted Chris on today. Yes, uh, maybe you've done an interior paint job and you feel pretty confident that you could do an exterior paint job. I'm going to tell you as a former painter, I don't know that I recommend this. And if you are going to try it, you better be prepared. It is quite a bit different and more difficult. Would you agree with that? I agree with you. And even sometimes you don't want to tackle a whole inside of a home, maybe a few rooms. But, I mean, it's the painter, not the brush, really, that does a quality job. And right. I wanted to bring a guy in, Chris Nielsen from Chris Nielsen Painting, who can really walk us through and explain how detailed and how much is involved with an exterior paint job. Sure. Yeah. So the first step is you kind of assess the outside. You, you walk the house, right? Yeah, yeah. First thing we do is we walk the job, take a look at it, look at the conditions of the surfaces that we're going to be painting. Um, most of the homes in San Diego are stucco homes. There's a lot of wood siding as well. So we'll look at that. We'll make sure that those surfaces, if they need to be repaired, we'll make sure we do the surface stucco repair. And if the wood has like exposed grain from the sun and water just beating on it, then we'll make sure that stuff's all sealed up before we paint it. So we're talking about prep work, and it could be just first water blasting the loose stuff off, but then there could be chipping and sanding yes. and filling and all those things. Because mm -hmm. if you put new paint over a bad surface, it's going to fail, correct? Yeah, your paint job's only as good as what's on top of. So. We want to make sure that everything is sound before we're applying our products. That's before you even really start the paint job itself. I mean, right. there's a lot of prep work to this. Yeah, yeah. We'll come through and we'll power wash everything off, get all the loose dirt, cobwebs, stuff like that rinsed off. Then by hand, we'll scrape and sand any areas that are flaking and failing. Make sure that stuff's all sound and sealed up before we can paint it. And do some painters just skip some of these steps and you know go on to painting? Yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of hacks out there, and they they do. I mean, if if you're not dealing with somebody that you can trust and that really specifies what's going to be done on that job, they will just blow and go through that, and you know your paint job will basically be a color change to your house, and it's not really protecting it. <laughs> and and no durability, either. right? It sure. won't hold up. You're putting money yeah. into it, and you might as well do it right. Mm -hmm. Spend a few dollars more and have the job done right. Absolutely. Another critical part is masking and there's different types of tape that you use to mask can you kind of explain that yeah that's really important especially in heat like this if you use the wrong tape and you let's say we tape off windows and we're using the wrong kind of tape well in just a few days that tape is going to actually melt onto that window and it will become an issue to get that residue off so now we've got to go back and clean that off without damaging the window and you really need to make sure you use the right type of tape. There's certain colors that, you, that we choose depending on the adhesion and the duration of the time on the surface. Now that's another thing too that I, that I just kind of honed in on as you're talking is you're talking about certain tapes that will last longer than others and are good for certain applications, which to me says this, if I'm going to do an exterior paint job on the house first, it's not going to look like your job. Okay. It's going to take me about 10 times longer. And yes. even if the tape is good for a few days and it takes me 10 days, well, I did the wrong thing right there, too. I'm smiling because I've seen the kind of paint jobs that you would probably do. <laughs> when my homeowners have tried to save money and do it themselves, <laughs> and I go back to the house and there's tape that's caked on and it won't come off, it looks yeah. horrible. Yeah, I come across it all the time. So, and of course, the next step is after the masking is priming and painting, right? Yes, yeah. We want to make sure we're using the right type of primer, depending on the surface. And of course, the right products, depending on the achieved look for the, the house. And the application, too, because mm -hmm. here you have a couple of different sprayers that you use yeah. and a brush. Mm -hmm. So kind of explain the differences in when you spray and when you brush. Sure. Well, I brought uh, some props here. This is a, a, a sprayer that I would use mostly interior. This is like a fine finish sprayer. It really atomizes that paint. It's for like um, custom trim, cabinets, doing lacquering, real, real complex finishes. Um, uh, exterior, this is going to be your most commonly used gun. This is uh, this goes toward an, an airless spray rig, is what they're referred to as. And this looks like something out of Star Wars to me. Yeah. In there. <laughs> well, and that's why I was saying you may not even want to tackle the inside of your home because someone, just the normal homeowner, yeah. is not going to be able to spray. Use that. that. That takes years of experience. And you even said you yeah. don't allow your guys to run the sprayer until you're totally confident yeah. that they're going to do it right. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a, a learning curve on that, and, they, and I don't want them to be doing that learning curve on my job sites. So I want to make sure everybody has adequate knowledge. And, and we've all been invited to a paint party, you know, <laughs> once or twice in the past, which usually <laughs> involves a bottle of wine and I've unskilled those workers. Which beer is, and pizza? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it. Alcohol and unskilled workers is just a recipe for disaster. We know so, how it turns out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> recommend hiring the pros. So I imagine you've rescued a few homeowners that have 
thought they could do it themselves. Yes, yes. Uh, I've been licensed for about 11 years, and I've come across several of those jobs. Didn't you say there was one guy that painted, and we're not trying to make fun of anybody, but someone who painted his entire exterior of his house with a paintbrush? Yeah, one time I came across a job, and uh, somebody painted the entire exterior with a paintbrush, and it took months for the guy. He did. I give props to him, but, you know, it's... Don't need to do that, and we can do a, a, a much more expedient process with with a much more protective coating. People's time is valuable, and, and and plus you have to have the patience, and that's why you need to hire Chris Nielsen Painting. Thank Don't you. try to do it yourself, and and spend hours and end up with a lousy job. Exactly. All right. Well, we've got a fan question for you, so let's uh, let's hear from Jason in La Mesa. Hey, approved home pros. My wife and I just bought a new house, and we wanted to paint a few rooms. Do you have any tips on how to paint the baseboards without getting the floors all wet? Thanks. Sure, yeah. Uh, well, masking and prep work, like we were talking about. Using the right kind of tape. Uh, tile floor, wood floor, it sounds like it's probably one of those. I would use blue tape on that and make sure that the tape is just sealed as tight as possible on that baseboard. I even bump it up just the sixteenth or an eighth of an inch onto that baseboard surface so the paint can't bleed onto the floor and if there's any visible areas they can be touched up with a cut brush this brush is designed to uh... it's tapered so it's designed to to be used in a way that you can actually p use the pointed edge to cut the line efficiently a nice straight line yeah once again just the normal lay person that uses that brush i mean it is a specialized brush but it takes it takes a specialized person to use that brush absolutely as they say it's the indian not the arrow <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what uh... chris nielsen painting again i was a painter but i was never his caliber i would never attempt an exterior job we want to empower you as a homeowner but we want to do it responsibly so i'm gonna say i would call chris nielsen painting get ten percent off up to $500. Mention the Approved Home Pro Show, and you can call them at 619-500-9699. That's 619-500-9699. Why DIY when you can have the pro do it like Chris Thank Nielsen? You. Thank you so much.